Hi guys, um, this evening I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, how to balance your twin elevator servos. Um, the biggest problem we run into with twin elevator servos are um, they don't balance, meaning one servo can travel faster than the other or it may have a differential on it. Um, the way I do things is a very, very simple thing. I've thought about lots and lots of different way of doing it, but this seems to be more effective. As you can see, just gonna show you. On my slick 84 inch, I have um, the elevator, which is this part, you all know, and a piece of uh, carbon rod straight through here with a uh, crocodile clip uh, but obviously the crocodile clip have like a bedding to it the red bits so when you clamp it on it doesn't damage the elevator same goes on the other side uh, main thing is is to get the piece of um, rod closer to the edge of this elevator because that's the flat part and as you can see it's pretty much balanced one of them will flicker a little bit because it's on load but that's not going to matter too much in air i'm going to just show you this guys um basically you move the thing up and down you can see one of them started to travel a little bit further up already now can you see guys and then the other one will travel catch up and travel further up now that can be due to two things um your exponential on both of the servos it may be different and that's why when you move the stick one servo travels uh quicker than the other it could be due it could be due to the um, ex exponential uh, the way you can correct this is going into your settings on your transmitter check both of the uh, servos to make sure both of the exponential are set the same if not then you're gonna have to set it uh, with one slightly different to the other and and then keep trying moving the stick making sure that they are both the same movement as you're going up and down. As you can see, I'm going down on the ele elevator. The right-hand side seems to be moving more. So therefore, I've got less exponential on the right-hand side than the left. Uh, that's why it's, it's moving a bit quicker. And then as it's diving further down, as you can see, it's still the same. So I've got to check the exponential on both of these elevators. Now guys, um, this seems to be the most uh, efficient way of doing this, um, balancing both of the uh, elevators with um, twin servos. Um, sometimes, this is only sometimes, um, I'm just gonna get try and get a little pointer. I'm gonna just, very difficult to try and move around. The reason you can hear the buzzing on my servos is because they are digital and they're on load. When you put any kind of weight on it, it's you're loading the servos slightly. They're just sensitive. Okay, next thing it could be doing with how your control arms are mounted here at this point, okay? Now at this point, and same on the other side, there, if it's not the same distance between the lead, uh, leading edge to the uh, control horns, that can cause you a bit of problem because it's not moving the same distance. One is further out and one is further in. That can cause a little bit of problem. Um, but sometimes, when it's minute, you're not going to notice it in the air unless you are one of the top pilots, um, which 
you know, I don't notice it um, half of the time, but if it's way, way out, then yes, I will notice it. Um, also, when you get the movement different on these two points on your rods, always check your linkages here, making sure the ball link is tight on both ends, because if you've got slack on them, again, one will travel faster than the other. And same goes on the control horn side as well. So check on all four points there, if you are going to get the difference in the moving, movement on your arms. Uh, third thing to check, making sure your control arm here, where my pointer is, and that bolt there, it's both the same bolted in the same uh, length of hole as your uh, left and right side. Again, if you have bolted them in a different sort of uh, uh, different holes, you will get the difference in travel. And same goes with your control horn here. If, for argument's sake, you've got this one bolted at the top and the other side bolted, bolted at the bottom, you will get the different speed of traveling too. Um, that's pretty much uh, the things you've got to be checking on those points. Uh, obviously, with this part here, um, once it's glued in, there's not a lot you can do about it, um, but you can check your, uh, your um, exponential. And if you need to, you might, if you've got a digital radio set, you might need to set um, set it with the um, differential. Uh, differential means one one half of your elevator will move uh, faster than the other half. Uh, again, it's a different way of setting it. As you can see, those points are flickering. It's pretty close, as you can see. You know, it's leveling out pretty close. But I do know this one, the right hand side, I need to check the um, exponential in place. Um, that's pretty much um, what we've got to look at with the twin twin servos um, on the elevator. Um, that's my setup. Um, this is more, more or less the uh, most efficient way of doing it. I've tried all sorts of different ways and it hasn't uh, gone as uh, as easy as that but if you know your radio set uh, it's pretty easy to check the exponential in place but that's the that's how I set mine up um, but if you do get slight movement uh, slight different then I wouldn't worry too much about it uh, because unless you're a top pilot uh, you're not going to notice and half of the time uh, it can be taken out uh, the, the difference in the uh, banking on the rear can be taken out with the uh, ailerons. So there we are guys, a uh, quick uh, video how to uh, balance your uh, twin elevator. I hope this helped. Um, meanwhile, back at the ranch, I'll say goodnight for now. If you like what I do, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's you guys out there keeping my channel going. Um, and I appreciate your every one of your subscription. Um, next stage from here, after it's all set up, uh, I will go for a maiden flight. Um, the maiden flight should be pretty uh, pretty close at hand now, uh, once I get a decent day. Um, I will fly up to round about, I will test fly up to about 14, 16 mile an hour wind with this size of aircraft. But obviously smaller aircraft, I, I will not risk it. But um, see how it goes on a maiden fly and uh, I'll keep you guys posted an update. Thanks uh, for watching. Um, as I say, these rods are only uh, straight piece of carbon. I use square because it's, uh, it's easier to work with them round. Thanks then guys, I'll say goodnight. Bye for now.